Hi everyone. Right, for years I've had this set of uh, <coughs> soldering helping hands, third hand or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're alright but they're pretty limited to what they can do and I hate these clips. They drive me crazy. Okay, So this here is going to go into the bin and today I'm going to show you how to make something much more useful. Okay, so you've got your drill, you want your uh, oil pipes four of, and four crocodile clips. I'm using a 5mm drill bit and a 12.5mm drill bit for this project. And you also need a piece of base material. Uh, you can use metal, wood, whatever you want. I'm using a scrap piece of plywood here uh, just to use for the base. So that's what I've got, that's the materials, let's get on with the project. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to, I'm not going to do anything precise. I'm going to put a mark on each corner where I want the the uh, helping hands to fit. These This will be for the oil hoses. Now remember, when you're doing this, whatever material you're using, I mean you guys, if you want to use pillar drills, whatever you want to use, you can use it. But just make sure you've got enough clearance between the edge of the board or whatever you're using and the size of your drill bit what I mean is if you've got a drill bit that big you don't want to be putting it too near to the edge okay so this one like I say is 12.5 uh, I'm going to pre-drill a hole a partial hole and then um, we're going to put the oil hose into that hole if you're going to if you're going to be using metal you're going to want to be drilling a hole smaller than the actual thread here Right, so the drill bit you use, if you're going to thread a hole, wants to be smaller than the actual size of this. Because if you drill one the exactly same diameter as this, and then you go to thread it, the hole will be too big. Okay? Another thing is, you don't want to drill the hole too deep, or I don't. So I'm just going to put a bit of tape around my drill bit, compared to how, roughly how deep I want this hole to be. Um, and then you can stop when you get up to the tape so you don't go too far right we'll just stick that in the drill keep the drill very very straight get the tip on where you want to drill it like so Now that should just drop into those holes because that's what I want it to do, which it does. I'm going to stick some glue on these. That was my intention, so pretty much they'll just drop in. I can add a bit of glue. That's how I wanted to do this. Okay. Okay, so I've got my base ready now. Um, <coughs> it's good enough for what I need, guys. You can make it look as fancy as you want, right? That's up to you. Now, on YouTube, you'll see other videos. Now, some people pull this orange end off. Uh, now, I'll tell you now, I personally find it extremely difficult. I, mean, I like to think I'm quite strong. 
So I, I've gone for a different option. I'm not trying. I'm not taking this off. I'm leaving this on. Uh, I've got the Makita here with a five millimeter drill bit in it. So what I'm going to do, and I'll show you now, is I'm just going to drill those out like so, and I'm going to do that to all four of them, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, that's all four done. So now what you do, you're going to have to struggle pulling them off. All you've got to do now is on your crocodile clips, is take this piece off. So you're left with that. Now, you could if you wanted to, again, totally up to you, you could use glue. You could put a bit of glue on there and then push it in like that. Job's done. A lot easier than trying to get that off, I think, anyway. So there you go, that's one. We'll do the next. Did I drill that one? Oh yeah, I did, yeah. Maybe I use a different drill bit. <laughs> there you go, in it goes. Uh, another one on there. In it goes. I've used red and black. You could, I'm pulling the wrong one off now, look. I've used red and black. Uh, you could just use all one colour if you want, it makes no difference. Uh, I just thought out of the pack I've got left, it leaves me with an even number of each if I want to use them. Uh, so there you go, that's it. So you're up to that stage, you've got all your clips on, nice and easy, look, beautiful. They're way better than that old thing, I'm telling you now they are. Um, now what we'll do, we'll get some glue out and we'll stick these in the board. <laughs> okay, so I've got some all-purpose clear adhesive. If you could use anything you wanted, a bit of Harold Dyke, something like that. Uh, if you do these holes a bit smaller, you could screw it in. You won't have to mess about like this. But, you know, I decided, me being me, I'm going to put some glue in them. You know, I think, I don't know, that's just me. I'm not taking them out again. So they can just stay in there. Look, splare a bit of glue in there. Or actually on the threads. It's that sort of glue look when you get it on your hands. It's like skin. It's like when you've been sunburned. That sort of glue, you know what I mean? When you was a kid and all your skin peels off. Yeah. Oh god, it's strong. Woohoo! I think we should open the windows in here. So that's pretty much it. I'm just smearing some in there. This is a soldering station, yeah? This is a helping hand soldering station. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. If it if it was gonna be somewhat fancy, I'd spend a lot more time doing it, yeah. So pretty much we'll just bang one in there like that lot, screw it in there, and we'll just leave that to set. Any position you want, don't matter. I'll do the same with this one. This can go in there. In it goes. In it goes like that. Again, that can set. <coughs> Smear a bit on here. Like so. And the same on here. And there you go. And that, I can clean that glue up by the way around the outside edges if that bothers you um is it really it's pretty simple um if you're going to go buy something like this online you're going to pay roughly i don't know 35 quid for something like this uh this has cost me this project's cost me approximately i don't know five pound something like that so for five pound i bought myself a soldering station a multi-handed soldering station and the most important thing is about this project, and I have to add this, if you do it right, and you've got a cup of tea that's just the right size, there's just enough there for one more mouthful. Thanks for watching everybody. If you need anything, or need to know anything about this project, please ask. If you like it, like it, share it. Anyway, I'll make some out in the future. Thanks for watching everyone, and bye for now. Cheers. Ah.